<laughs> so by so if we do simple math, fifty you had fifty chances. You only moved up two spots. Forty, <laughs> you missed. How'd you miss forty eight? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are back for a, another video. This week we will be recapping the Challenge World Championship episode five. And to start off, I just want to say a lot of questionable decisions have been made in this episode. And it's really setting the same standard for why we these rookies mm -mm, it's just it's just not. They're not, <laughs> they're not, it's, oh, God, it's terrible. They're yeah. terrible. Like, I, I know that they want the, the, they want fresh faces that have played the game and they want new people to familiarize themselves with the new audience that they got because they're broadcasting on CBS and all this good stuff and it's on Paramount. I get it. <clears throat> but, this entire problem can be solved if you just made another goddamn real world. If you yeah. just do that <laughs> and then transfer those people to the new show, yeah. to the challenges, we wouldn't have this problem because now you get people who they think, think they know playing. the game just because they played another game when the game it, is entirely different. This is not Big Brother. This is not Survivor. This ain't even the challenge USA, Australia, Argentina, UK. This is none of the none of those shows yeah. come close to what the challenge is and what has it always been about. So starting off at the top of the episode, we get back in the house after Jody and Ben Hodge just won, sending home Rodri and Naya. And then basically they are the only sole remaining Argentinian players or Argentina players for that team. And they just basically want things to switch up because they're tired of everybody playing the same game and they know that they're going to lose if things doesn't switch up. Mm -hmm. So we kind of get to see the first half of this episode. We kind of get to see different... This is where all the confusion... This is where... And yeah, it got confusing very early. So we see um, Team Australia, Grant and Emily talking about how Kiki is an airhead. First off, she won y'all season. Second off, she's doing better in y'all politically and socially in this game. So how is she an airhead? And on top of that, she picked the better partner than the both of you. Exactly. Because the last time I checked... Darrell's one of the strongest dudes on the show. Yeah. And he's all he's Darrell been the strongest dude on the show since the early 2000s. You you think that's like and also I don't understand the concept of how they got to the conclusion of assuming that her attitude preceded who she was because she wasn't coming in there boasting like she was in it. Like they got all of that from her seeing the house dirty and filthy. Yeah, when they literally which is crazy, <laughs> which is which is hilarious because literally in the last episode, Ben talked about having your own dogs. dishes yeah. and having your like. How do we get? I I just don't understand how we got there. Yeah, um, and then for her to be like, y'all talking about so jumping ahead a little bit, but not really. Y'all talking about how y'all can't trust Ben. He's not even on y'all team, and he's more loyal to like the grand scheme of things versus y'all who's trying to get rid of somebody that's on your team. Like, exactly, ben might be sketchy, but he's not trying to get rid of nobody on his team. Like, y'all are literally trying to get rid of somebody in your team. Which, which again is the whole, which is the problem with the game because they never. I personally don't remember anybody saying this is Team USA yeah. versus Team UK. It's not a country team game. Argentina versus Team Australia. I don't remember that being said. Yeah. So if the whole concept of everybody coming in was if you're on Team USA, we're going to work together to make the final. Cool. 
I got it. It's four teams of each country. Yeah. Argentina has one team left. UK has what three? Everybody else has four. Cool. Got it. Makes sense. You coming together to immediately think of, of a plot to throw one of your own countrymen under the bus, which again, like you said earlier, and this ain't the first bro, time they did it, which is even crazy. It's not. They was willing to use her as a pawn. <laughs> so uh, we see that scene with Kiki and uh, not Kiki. We see that scene with Greg and Emily, and then we go into Wes and Jordan talking about and kind of floating ideals around about coming up with a team they can possibly throw in a case, worst case scenario, again, having a contingency plan, if they are the ones in the bottom, something they can uh, do. And they um, mention uh, they don't want to scramble around or kind of think of it uh, last minute. So they kind of want to have somebody in name. And then they said, or Jordan talks about playing into the whole Kiki versus Emily drama because they know that Emily yeah. tried to throw Kiki um, as a pawn the first week. And then also Team UK, because Wes and Jordan are Team UK, they want to kind of break down uh, Australia's loyalty Correct. and kind of play as they should. That. As they should. I think, first of all, Wes and Jordan coming together, working, it's beautiful. That they can finally get along for at least a few episodes, but I don't even think it's that. They know the answer. Yeah, it's like why? Right, it's like why go after each other now when there are other people that they can get rid of? And you see, yes, on Team Australia, that's the champion. He got to go. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's very Amber simple. Amber and Troy are both a champion, champion team. Yeah, like, so. I, it, it, and it, and to me, I just feel like the way that, and usually I don't like Wes's plans because I think they're stupid and they always I mean, blow true. up and they always blow up at some point. Like, I think his plans are terrible, but the idea to play on the friction between Team Australia was genius because you have to think how can you be a team if you're willing to automatic you're willing to sacrifice your teammates yeah and you still have a full country full of teams yeah. like it's not just Australia USA or Australia UK like it's everyone is still there yeah, it's no not one, again. It's not country versus country. It's every man for the. It's, it's every and, partner and, for themselves. Like, and they don't like, they get that. Up, yeah, I understand having alliances within different countries, or even like I understand keeping your country together so y'all all can run the final or whatever. Correct. Be. But in that instance, you can't be trying to again stage coups. Against your own people, like exactly. What was the point of have? What was the point of getting people from Team USA to be on your side if you're not going to keep the people who play for the same country team as you on your side as well? Get yeah. up, Danny and Sarah. So we get a scene of them talking and how they are saying. Uh, they keep targeting the boring options and they are playing a safe game and they are ready to essentially rock the boat and not play with the legends anymore. And then Which Sarah is, still no. has this notion that her partnership is give and take, talking that we won't compromise our decisions anymore, that the legends will have to rock or they will have to follow our lead. And it's like, Again, have you not seen this? You don't have weight. You're you're not about to come exactly. in as a freshman and boss a senior around. You're not about to come in as a entry level employee and think you're about to tell the CEO how to run the company. Like that's which not is, that's not how it which works. Which is like, crazy. Which it is and then, crazy. Sarah, you weren't even good on your season. Like no, she wasn't. She barely did anything that was spectacular. Yeah, you won in the end. But that was a fluke. Literally, you didn't even quit. 
had Justine not got medically disqualified, Justine would have won. Like, yeah. you got lucky. Also, I don't think either of them realize who they're partnered with. Theo, for all intents and purposes, one, very strong individual. Two, personality. He's yeah. very and he's strong. Tied to both. He's from UK. He's tied so he to the UK folks. And he played with the US. So he already so again, let Theo, Theo do what he does. If I'm Sarah, I'm shutting the fuck up and letting Theo do whatever he needs to. Theo's protected on both sides. You didn't even exactly. need Australia. You have you legitimately have a UK person from the country of the UK. <laughs> Playing on the U.S. team, yeah, you literally have an, an alliance directly in front of you, yeah. and you turn that down because they didn't play your game. Yeah, if you U.S. Then, if Danny and Sarah were smart, they would target or not target. They would align themselves with U.K. because they have West Jordan and they have Kellyanne, who are three people that will protect people. Because you can't trust all of the... Because they're throwing themselves in. So why would you even align yourself with them? And then Argentina, unfortunately, they're a non-factor. So why are you... Like, you're setting yourself up to be he, worst so game ever. Sarah I think, has the worst game ever. But I see... And see, the problem with that is they're playing the game the same way they did on Challenge USA because they won and it worked for them. But what I don't think they realize is that you play the game with a bunch of people who had no idea what they were doing. Yeah. Well, we get KC and um, Justine talking about how KC never played a game with Anani. And, you know, um, that was cute. They start they thinking about planning a family. And, you know, we love to see that uh, and everything. Uh, but she also mentions that she is partnered with Ben, and Justine kind of alludes to Ben being a little wishy-washy, and that, um, yeah, he gets the paranoid. I don't understand where this paranoid thing comes from. I think Ben's, based off how I see him playing, based on the edit, Ben knows when to cut his losses. He knows, okay, Sarah's going to give me an elimination, let me cut that tie. Yeah, it's selfish, but I don't think it's paranoid. He's no. playing selfish game. He's he thinking strategically. He's but he's not playing the paranoid game. Correct. He's thinking strategically. He knows exactly what he's doing. He yeah. he he Ben's playing the game like somebody who watches the, the main seasons because yeah. he knows exactly that you have to move a certain way. You have to cut losses when you need to. You have to be willing to sacrifice a friendship or sacrifice an alliance to further your position in the game. At the yeah. end of the day, you're here for money. You're not here for friends. Yeah. So you can talk friends. after. Yeah, you can, you can be friends the after the show. But, bro, you're competing for life-changing money. I'm not yeah. going to put my friendship with you above this money. Definitely and, if you're playing a stupid game. And Why Ben would I sees that people who will look out for me in the long run. Like I know KC and Tori, they played the game together, so because Ben is partnered with KC. I know that KC and Tori, uh, they got some type of relationship. They're both champions. I can use that as a number. So why would I attack Jordan? Like, no. Why would I go for a West? That's point exactly. West? Like it just doesn't make sense. Like And he's and Jordan sees me being respectful to Tori and looking out for Tori. Now that's an extra number. Now Jordan's yeah. gonna look out for me because I didn't say his ex fiance. Whereas say as you, Sarah and Theo, y'all, oh, like I said, I feel sorry for Theo. And it's yeah. not, and it's crazy because I know for a simple fact, Theo's not going for that at yeah. all. And looking at the way that they, especially the way Ben was explaining how his thought process to Johnny, it just makes a lot of sense. It's just like he's here to play a smart game and he's not paranoid. He's just, he's thoroughly thinking out his moves. Yeah. Speaking of this challenge, this one is called flying around. Uh, basically one player from each team is tossed around by a giant crane. And as they catch the rings from their partner, they have to deposit it into a bin. 
and then the team who deposited the most rings in a band wins. But not only do they have to do that, TJ also lets them know that there is an eating component where every player must finish a smoothie under two minutes, and they're not allowed to throw up, or uh, if they don't complete it, they will receive a penalty. So, finally, we get to see the whole now y'all just can't throw it up, it'll be like, I'm done, type of situation. Which and I'm glad the they did. Part, yeah, for the most part, everybody finished the smoothie because they didn't want the penalty. But in the first heat, we see Wes, Zara, Grand John A, Bananas, and Justine, and Kellyanne and Tristan. Wes and Zara decide to not uh, do... <laughs> Wes the, Wes the, fuck do the drink. Wes, fuck, Wes, is, Wes ain't even... He took one sip and said, nope. <laughs> he said that motherfucker right down. I, yeah. So we, is uh, hilarious. Learned they, yeah, we learned that they get a five um, deduction penalty. Five point deduction penalty, and then uh, from there they just went down. They Man, literally wasn't getting any. They did in terrible. There. Yeah, they did terrible. She wasn't able to th- like. I don't know if the timing was off or what, but you had fifty chances. Yeah, like you had fifty, and which you makes only- it even worse because. When we get to the results, another team still outbeat y'all with less points already deducted. So that tells you that. My thing was, you had 50 chances. You only made two. <laughs> you had negative. You First of all, you already started the challenge with negative, negative five. five. <laughs> You finished with a score of negative three. <laughs> what was so crazy was the realization in the second heat was that everybody realized, oh, shit, all we got to do is finish the smoothie, and yeah. we're good. And then it was just like, okay, cool. Everybody's second heat finishing yeah. the damn smoothie. And then they got to, which I thought was, oh, the fucked up. They got to Amber B, and she tried. Lord bless her. No, heart. she was in the uh, she was in the third heat. She was uh, in the th- so, but in the third heat, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, before we get into that, so yeah, they really are uh, struggle. Bananas and Justine really do good. They end uh, he with fourteen that. points, and then John A. and Grant and Kellyanne and Tristan get three points each. The second heat was Theo, Sarah, yes, Emily, KC, Ben, Jody, Benha. All the teams finished their smoothies, uh, but Theo and Sarah got two points deducted uh, for. Uh, I think Theo was puking. They and, both did. Um, yeah. Yeah, they and both Theo did. Theo was the only uh, typical... Well, no, never mind. Uh, uh, KC was the only woman to actually be the one doing the toss it while Ben uh, did the ring. So, I mean, I'm not too surprised there, but... Uh, but also, it wasn't like Ben was doing any better. Like, Ben kind of... Was Ben well, was, no, was ben, ben, ben was, was getting it to her, but it was like Casey, Casey wasn't, wasn't doing. I kind of felt like it could have just did it. I don't know. Maybe I felt like Casey would like just throw it up, bro. Like just throw it to Ben. Ben, you just go around. Maybe Ben didn't yeah. want to get on it. I guess he was like, I'm a football player. Sick. I'm a football player. I got the accuracy type of situation, bro. That's like I, it's nothing but a frisbee. I yeah. Yeah, so at the end of this round, um, we still see that Justine and Bananas are in the lead. Sarah and Theo, yes, and Emily, they are tied with eight. Uh, Jody and Benha get five, and then Ben and Casey get two points. Again. And then the third heat, we get... Before we even get to the third heat, again, negative two points. (laughs) They had negative two points and still weren't even close to being in last. Yeah. <laughs> so in the third heat, the final heat, we got Darrell, Kiki, Jordan, Cass, Amber, Troy, and Danny and Tori. Uh, so they did say that the uh, vegans are smoothie. Uh, the smoothies are vegan. Uh, and then basically we see Amber and Troy, they get negative seven points because Amber was puking. And, she puked. And, and then she enough. didn't finish. I do want to say I think this is alluding to the Amber B pregnancy uh, because she did say that she has been feeling sick for the last couple of days. So, right. 
if this is playing out like this right now, then I think Amber B might find out that she is pregnant and, and then her and Troy are uh, 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 medically uh, out. Uh, but hopefully, you know, I still don't, I don't know, I still don't understand the timeline because Amber B is really pregnant now. So I don't think she went for far in the game either way it goes. So, um, but yeah, Kiki and Darrell are just, in a easy rotation, Kiki, Kiki was, was chugging that. Killing it. it was like Kiki was I, killing I, I it. I did yeah. this for a living. Like this is nothing. And then, like we said, uh, they were just killing it. So this is the interesting part. Troy and Amber B. We don't get to see their scores, bro. But Troy and Amber B. Started with negative seven. They this had was- negative <laughs> seven, bro. They had four. More extra rings to get to get to at least negative three to tie. But let how do you have negative points? <laughs> you got two out of fifty, my guy. <laughs> like I don't. They hadn't. And then like how TJ was about to say the results and who was coming in last. And what you were alluding to was that we didn't know the scores of Amber B and Troy. To the viewer, we assume, you know what? It's between Amber B and Wes. Exactly. It has to be that because yeah. they had negative seven. They, they had, that's, that's, Wes only got two. How would yeah. they do better? And this DJ announces that the bottom two teams are Ben and Casey, mind you, who had two points Bro, <laughs> when he bro. said when he said Ben and Casey, I said that I they immediately had two points. I had I got an attitude. I said I know damn well these niggas they have negative seven, and they <laughs> not only did they catch you, they passed you. <laughs> they had negative. You had two teams behind you that had negative <laughs> points, and you she puked. And didn't finish and still got more points. And she started <laughs> at negative seven. <laughs> yeah. So Wes and Zara are the official losers, so they're going straight into elimination. As for the winners, the top two teams were Darrell and Kiki and Bananas and Justine. Mind you, again, that Justine and Bananas had 14 points when they uh, finished their heat. And then we are... We learned that the winners are Darrell and Kiki ultimately, and they taking home the W. So just that just tells you that this challenge was just like anything. Excuse me, anything can happen. But we get back in the house. Bananas knows that uh, Wes is likely going to win the uh, elimination. I mean, that's safe to say. I mean, Wes does have a good elimination record. Um, so they are talking and he wants to take out a big team. So he says, let's go for Australia. Let's get rid of the Aussies. And his his goal is to vote in Grant and John A or Yes and Emily. But then we get to Danny who wants Jordan and Cass to go in. So um, they also have a meeting where Team Australia, Grant, I don't think John A knew this, uh, so it's going to be interesting how this plays out later. But uh, Grant uh, said, so Danny wants Jordan and Cass to go in. So they think burning all Australian pair would force Danny, uh, Darrell and Kiki to automatically vote for Jordan and Cass because we know that Kiki wouldn't, or they assume Kiki wouldn't vote for an Aussie. Yet they think Darrell would vote for Jordan? Okay. So, I think, but um, I think in their, I think in their, their plan, I think if they were trying to put, but if they were trying to put, yeah, if if they were making it a choice between yes, Jordan, Darrell's gonna say yes. I mean, yes, every time, he yeah. would vote in Jordan, and just based off the fact that he's known yes longer, but I don't think that in general was a good idea. Yeah, like at all. Yeah, so uh, we see that Grant volunteers himself and John A to be the burn vote for everybody else in the U.S. Aussie Alliance to get Jordan and Cass to go in there. 
And um, yeah, Danny thinks that Dumb. Tony's gonna be okay with that. <laughs> who the f- who the fuck volunteers? You can use a burn vote on who the f- like this is not no. The same thing happened with Kiki when they thought Kiki was gonna be a pawn or uh, not only be a pawn. It was like okay, they won't uh they won't uh let Kiki go. Kiki will be saved. And y'all saw how that happened. So why would you? That's why I was like, John A doesn't. Johnny has Again, to they don't this watch this show. Yeah, they don't because they literally Johnny has contributed to Leroy going home on a past show because they used the burn vote on him. Yeah, burn votes are t- and it's like they never form, they never go the way that they're supposed to go. Yeah, and burning a vote. Burning a vote early in the game actually does more harm than good. You're better off burning votes at the end because literally at that point you're making it some you're making someone else make the decision, which is understandable. But doing it in the beginning, it's too many other people and too many other variables at play for you to just sit there and be like, you know, I'm gonna just waste a vote. You're not even voting last. It's a nomination, and this is where. Everybody, Everybody gets, gets dumb. dumb. Exactly. Everybody gets dumb here. Yeah. Well, let me rephrase. The MVPs get dumb. The legends aren't idiots, but the MVPs are just dumb. Yeah. And it's bad. So we get to nominations. Grant and uh, John A are the first ones to give their votes. They vote for Jordan Cass, Sarah Theo. Uh, then Jordan cast throwing it right back at them and say John A. Grant as well as Yes and Emily. So they start to do the plan that's been in place by the legend side of the USA team. And then all the other teams all vote for John A. And Grant as a burn vote, hoping um, Darrell and Kiki won't choose them. Um, then we get to um, basically Bananas like everybody is burning your votes. Um, and we've seen that this go wrong every time, so don't burn your votes because it's not always... Because he, like, Johnny, like, all the legends are not dumb. They are picking up what they're trying to, like, they're picking yeah. up what they're putting down. So we get to Ben and KC who votes in uh, Grant and Donna and Yes and Emily. Um, even though we do see that Ben initially agreed to go with the uh, Team USA Aussie um, Alliance to target Jordan and Cass. But again, Ben is not stupid. It was like, I'm not about to go against the grain and put a target on my back. And then me and my partner. For, exactly. We're, we're for pretty. no reason whatsoever. Yeah. Him and Casey are sitting pretty because they have the numbers. Um, so they, uh, Grant is mad because that makes Ben officially sides with the Legends. Because apparently it's MVPs versus legends. Especially the votes get tied between Jordan and Cass and Yes and Emily. So Tori and Danny are the deciding votes. And Tori ba- basically breaks down everything. She says that if we burn uh, both votes instead of by instead of uh, voting in like Jody and Benha and Kelly and Tristan, or that's what they did. Um if they burn their votes, essentially they are putting in Jordan and Cass. And Danny was like, I will die on this hill. I am not going against. It's the second, it's like what, the third elimination? Third or fourth elimination? Like, bro, it's too, why, why are you, why are you willing to die on your morals yeah. Before you even get halfway through the damn show. Yeah. And it's like, again, they don't watch this show. You guys know TJ does not like when people do not come to a complete decision. Yeah. He hates that. The fans hate that. Make up your mind. And it's like, the legends are te- they're literally telling you TJ's not going to like this. Please yeah. do not burn this vote. And what do these fuckers do? Burn it. He burns the vote. So yeah, he, he ends up. Yeah, so he ends up voting Ben High and Jody and Kelly and Tristan. 
resulting in a stalemate. So now everyone is like, what's going on? What's going to happen? Um, essentially, we get to the elimination. Also, before we get to the elimination, Sarah and Emily are laughing at Tori and Jordan Alliance, which I didn't appreciate them making fun of their relationship because it's like, it has nothing What's to do with understood to them doesn't need to be understood to y'all. To like, you, exactly. I don't yeah, like that. Like, don't don't be sitting and I was oh, kind of disappointed that we're, Justine we're was engaged there. now. We're not engaged and we're engaged. You can't vote for me ever again. Yeah. Why the fuck would she vote for him in the first place if yeah. they're working? Clearly, if she gets the money, that's good for them. If he gets yeah. the money, he gonna look out for her. Vice versa. Yeah, just because they're not together anymore, she literally, they literally were about to spend their lives together. Just because we're not together anymore doesn't mean I don't have love for you or I don't want to... Oh, I'm not going to look out for you. I don't want the best for you. Yeah. So I'm going to make sure that it's you, different you, for you're like, good. Yeah. Being unnecessary waves, you're going against your partners, you're going against your country, you're literally throwing your own teammates and countrymen under the fucking bus yeah. and you're having temper tantrums because you're not getting your way. Yeah. I y'all lost, are uh, legitimately yeah. the, like, y'all are playing what I'm looking at is probably one of the worst games yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah. They literally imploded their own games. Like I said, I lost I already didn't like Sarah too much to begin with. But I just lost all little respect that I did. I, I never had for respect life. for Sarah. I just, I, I yeah. just picked her on the on the damn draft because I know that she's lucky. <laughs> we are at elimination. We are ending on a cliffhanger once again. TJ lets the team know that because they are unable to use their de- uh, democratic uh, abilities to come to right. a decision to throw a team down. Then Darrell and Kiki has the ultimate choice to decide who comes down. And from my understanding, based off the confessional, it's a free reign for any of the teams. Mm-hmm. So we will see what Darrell and Kiki will do next week. I would just go Jody Beha. I think that's where they would go because you don't get blood on your hands. You don't show your cards. Don't, you don't, yeah, because the rallies, They've already been in. It's, and you don't piss off West by giving him somebody that could potentially send him home, that he could date, that, that he beats, and then he comes back. Now he got beef with you. Now you got beef with the whole UK team. And then the Australians already don't want your damn partner. So now you, now you definitely shit out of luck because now you ain't got nobody because the USA team and the Aussies don't want you. You ain't even pissed off the UK people by trying to send home West. So yeah. if Jody and Benha go in and then they magically come back, which they probably won't, but if they yeah. come back, what are they going to do? They don't have no numbers. So it's not yeah. like that does anything to you. That's the yeah. safest it move. Is, my it's, the path, it's the path of least resistance to just yeah. throw in Benha and Jody. I mean, unfortunately, Benha is on my team. I don't want him to go. I kind of actually do like Benha. Um, but yeah, it just makes sense. You get rid of the, unfortunately, you get rid of Argentina. So that's one country you don't have to worry about. I mean, yeah. they're not really an But they're also, not it's the, and that's a lesson yeah. for West don't have to go against his ex. He don't have to go yep. against his friends. So it just, it just makes sense. It just yeah, makes You sense. don't, because you're not friends. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're not really friends with Jody. You don't have a relationship with Ben Ha. So, and you probably won't win another challenge for the rest of the season. So you don't you definitely don't want any more blood on your hands that you already got. So yeah, it just makes sense. Like it is still again, it's too early to be making these big ass moves. Not when you got legitimate scrub teams that you could potentially get rid of first. But that is our recap and review. Let us know what you guys feel about this week's episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And Follow us on social and come back next week where we talk about episode six. Peace.